going on micro scale garagers all right today i was still working on the hoist i was trying to reprint some uh the little arm pieces in there but i can't get my printer to i don't know i'm having problems with the printer um i gotta buy more of these fly batteries because me and the kids left our xbox controllers on so we got a connection break on all our batteries but as you guys see here, I'm working on Xavier's um, Barrage 1.9, the kit. I want to try and put this RAM body that I had when we were building it on here. Um, I removed the rear bumper and just moved the front bumper just to see if I had to cut the links or anything. I might have to shorten the front links. But um, there's a problem with this truck. I put the new axles, if you guys remember in the other like vlog video I did about like a year ago, I ended up putting new axle shafts in the rear of his axle. Well, today or the other day, I put new axle shafts in his truck again. Cause like, don't look at me, I'm holding the tire. Let me see if I can hold the truck and see we're getting it, you know, the axle feels normal this tire over here i think there's something going on in the diff i think that plastic diff is kind of blown out so and i check the pin the pin's grabbing but it's just it's spinning you know like it's free spinning inside i mean it's turning now but if anybody knows what that problem is see it wanna wanna catch but you know, it's just like it's not, not catching. You know, bolt is on the tire. I think it's inside of that diff. I think it rounded out um, where the axle goes in on that little C channel where it's uh, cut out at. I believe what the problem is, like how this one goes in, how these axles go into the diff. You know, so we're gonna take this apart. And rebuild these axles. Actually, I'm going to try and look for some upgrade axles too. But first, I want to get that body mounted for them and everything. But I went on ECX.com, but I don't think there's ECX.com anymore. I think it just takes you straight to Horizon Hobby. So we'll go look at the website right now. All right. <clears throat> I was scrolling down on this website. I'm here. And I was just looking at all the vehicles. They might be doing some cyber sales. And let's see. Let's scroll on down. Where was I? I was pretty down because I was about to go to the barrage. And I got all super excited. There's the barrage kit that we got. I was looking for the Gen 2 barrage, actually. And then I saw this. Eco Rockets. Ah, ECX 128 Micro Rockets Monster Truck. They're coming out with a little Ruckus Monster Truck. It's two wheel drive though, fifty four ninety nine. I mean, then I saw this. Then I looked over and I saw this. But I like the green one. I like green. And it says one twenty four UV four wheel drive scale crawler. Whoa, one twenty four. I thought it was Tim scale. FPV. Come on now, you guys. Did I like inspire people to do more FPV? I'm not trying to say I did it, but I gotta get one of these. It's two hundred dollars though. I'm just, eh, you know the the one twenty four scale barrage is not really like a crawler to me. It's really fast. You know what I'm saying? It was like a, you know, I'm still working on that truck. Um, I don't know if they changed like the gearing or anything. Probably not. But I mean, it's a little like Unimog. Oh, <laughs> it's got lights right there in the proper area. Oh, with little like grills. So that means we're the, uh, oh my gosh, V, well, I don't want to say Volkswagen, but, um, is it, oh, I got to look up the Unimog. I'm so off. You guys are going to be like laughing at me. Anyways, you know the company. I'm not saying it's Volkswagen or Vita. Look at that. That's where the camera is. It's got a plastic grill. It's got a little snorkel, little plastic mirrors. Oh, I didn't even see all the little detail on it. I was going to talk crap about it, but. I really like this. It's just really expensive. It's not really. Oh, what is it? A seventy-nine dollar truck? How much is the Barrage One Twenty Four? 
oh, I just got a little tired. I don't care. That's. But I know, like, there's going to be another company that's going to do it, that's going to make this, the copy. Um, I ain't good with names, so I'm not even going to try and name it. You guys know what I'm talking about. I don't like how my mouse just automatically... It's got windshield wipers! <clears throat> Sorry for yelling. Oh, there's light buckets! Oh, let me zoom my camera in. Wow, I didn't think it was going to take a journey on the... I don't know, the molding on the plastic there. I don't, I don't know what that... Maybe that's supposed to be like the door hinge and all that stuff. Looks a little ugly. It's got shovels on each side. Oh, it comes with goggles. Okay. A little battery. The battery only lasts like five. Oh man, that battery's gonna be powered. They didn't upgrade the battery. That battery's gonna power the camera too and the lights. How long is it? I mean, unless it's geared down where it like runs like an Orlando. You know, we're, I don't know, that's a nickel metal battery. One cell light, but oh, look at the little course. Yeah. Yeah, micro scale garages. I wasn't expecting this. I was, I thought it was Tim scale. That's the reason I was making this video. I really thought I didn't read it all the way. Now I'm even more excited. It's 124 scale and it has, ah, oh, man. I feel like I gotta get it. I gotta put that in my garage. The kids would love that. Man, there's just gotta be a way where you can just get the truck. I just want the truck. I got goggles. I don't. I do need an extra pair of goggles, but those aren't goggles. Those are like it's like a TV video stand that you can just set on a table or something, and then you can still look over at your truck. That's probably how they're going for it. Let's go back into the pictures. You know, it's not even like a fool goggles it's probably got like a little stand on the back or something <clears throat> it's got a spectrum sticker is that spectrum i thought it would be that tac tac stuff or whatever oh no horizon hobby huh i don't know if that's spectrum proven 124 scale barrage platform 25 milliwatt micro FPV camera, 4.3 inch spectrum FPV receiver screen with DVR. Wow, with DVR? All right, see that's 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 getting me again. Here's some more of those uh, Felic and Wild Peak tires. I like those tires on the Barrage. Uh, Multi-link suspension. Yeah, we'll put a one cell lipo on that because I know the Barrage that I got the 124 aluminum chassis. I, I'm really liking this. Alright. Alright, YouTube. I need to... Wow. Oh, man. Alright. See, I need to look up this. The 1.55. I need... Parts. Hmm. What is all this? What, is you, what do you might consider? I'm not considering that. There's not like a parts, um, alright, alright, well, I'm very excited about that little 124 scale, I'm about to check YouTube and see if anybody's already bought one, and then, um, yeah, alright you guys, like, share, subscribe, peace and love, God bless, I'll see you guys in the next video, it's just a quick little vlog, I gotta try and fix this barrage, gotta find some parts, probably go to A-Main Hobbies or something. Alright, peace out.